Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. There's many cybersecurity certifications you can pass in the industry. I'm going to rank the top three in various categories. Now, if you're hanging around to the end, I'm going to rank the three cheapest IT cybersecurity certifications you can pass and in the process, save yourself a lot of money. So the first category are the three most expensive. This is going to cost you a lot of money and probably take a lot of time, um, but it could lead to a lot of money. So the first is the GSE. This is the GIAC Security Expert Certification. Now you need to pass a minimum of three exams in order to qualify for the actual lab exam. Most people attempting this exam have actually passed eight. Now the exams you have to take to qualify cost over $900 each. And then finally, when you come to take the lab exam, it's currently $2,699. So you're looking at in total to pass a certification at least $7,000. The second most expensive is the Cisco CCIE security exam. Now this only tests you on the Cisco security equipment, so you have to decide whether it's worth it for you. But you have to pass firstly the written exam, which costs around $300 and obviously takes a few months to study. Then you have to fly to one of Cisco's approved labs. They're all over the world. You've got to factor in your air cost for your ticket. The lab exam currently costs around $1,600, so you need to budget $2,000 approximately. And third is the OSCP. The OSCP stands for the Offensive Security Certified Professional. It's a very highly regarded certification and it tests you on a large number of IT security skills. At the moment the exam will cost you $1,199. Okay the next category is the three best paid. So this is the three most sought in the IT market at the moment. Now I'm not factoring in how much experience you need to have. I'm just going to quote from indeed.com salary surveys. So the best paid certification in cybersecurity at the moment is the CISSP. At the moment if you're a CISSP certified individual in America you'll be earning around $164,814 per year. The second is the SSCP certified professional. At the moment that's paying around $157,000 per year. Again they've probably got a fair amount of experience to get this amount of money. The third highest paid is the certified ethical hacker, the CEH certified professional at the moment they're on around 123,000 per year in America okay the next category is entry level so this is if you're trying to get a career change or you're moving from somewhere in IT into IT security so number one at the moment is the company security plus company is a term on everyone's lips at the moment now it doesn't actually qualify you for anything in particular but what you do is learn all of the security protocols all of the names all of the conventions and you also learn a little bit about every security field it's required for any Department of Defense job. So that's why I listed it at number one. Number two is the ISC2 SSCP. That stands for the System Security Certified Practitioner and um, it's a good entry level exam. It's kind of like a medium range where you don't need experience to pass and it's a recognized certification. Number three is the GSEC. This is the GIAC Security Essentials Exam. It's a well recognized organization that offers an entry level certification. The next category is work from home. So it's great when you earn a lot of money, but A, you're normally spending one or two hours trying to get to work and per year you're probably spending tens of thousands of dollars for transport with a car train buses and all that kind of thing so there's a lot of careers that people are looking for where they can stay at home and dial into the customer's office or just take jobs from the ticketing queue so number one is the CompTIA pen test plus this is the penetration testing certification from CompTIA so as the name suggests penetration testing is looking for holes in the networks and this can easily be done remotely you don't need to do it from uh, you don't need to do it from work number two certified ethical hacker kind of like related to the pen test plus but it's its own um, vendor and own certification and then number three is the CompTIA security plus this is going to get you on the cyber security support desks so it's not networking support it's network security support and cyber security okay next is the easiest to pass now I'm going to give you this category anyway it doesn't mean it's going to get you a lot of money but what it is going to do is get you cyber security certification and also you're going to get um, something that you could use in the market for your resume okay so easiest to pass number one is the cc this is
is cybersecurity certified from the ISC2. These are the people that offer the CISSP and the SSCP and it's their entry level exam and um, it can be passed within a, a, around a week's worth of study. Second easiest is the Cisco CCST security. This is brand new in 2023 and it's um, their entryway into the cybersecurity field. The next easiest to pass is the CompTIA Security Plus. I'm not saying it's easy to pass but out of all of the cybersecurity certifications this is one of the easier ones. A little bit of practical but mainly theoretical knowledge. You could pass it within around a month if you work hard for a couple of hours a day. And then finally the last category for this week this is the cheapest to take. All of us are on a budget and it's great to get a cyber security certification for as cheap as possible so we can save our money for more books and materials and fun things. So the cheapest is currently the CC certified in cyber security which I already mentioned. Now at the moment as of me making this video it's free to take the exam and you can't get better than free and it's an ISC2 certification who are globally recognized. Number two is the SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst exam. So Microsoft offer this. It covers a broad range of cybersecurity themes and also some Microsoft products. It's only $165 to take with Pearson View. And then number three is the AZ500, the Microsoft Azure Security Technologies exam. This obviously qualifies you on the Azure software platform under the security umbrella. So that's the list. I hope it helps and I'll see you on the next video.